Good afternoon. I'm just going to go right back here to this guy's video. Look at the condescension. Look at this guy. Here he goes here. About uh, 12 minutes in. He said, I'm just giving you scripture. You know, as if he follows the King James Bible every time. That's the impression he wants you to give. If you disagree with him, you're not following the King James Bible. That's the insinuation that's under here, people. Listen to this guy. I shout and attack others. That's the flesh. That's not the spirit. No one's attacking you if they report if they're showing you false doctrine. No one's attacking someone. Most of these things are dealing with personal attacks, dealing with personal issues. Personal issues, not doctrinal issues. He thinks he's under attack when he gets exposed for false doctrine. That's why he's that's why he's making this video now. Because he's getting heat for his false views on interracial marriage and the faith rest view and date setting. He's being exposed in these areas, and rather than repent of them and say he's wrong, he's gonna attack those who attack him on this. This is what this is all about. Now watch him as he says. He's the real King James Bible believer. We're not. Now, let's go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. Again, I just want to give you scripture. See, I'm just giving you scripture. The scriptures are wrong. But the impression he's trying to make with these scriptures are wrong. Those who are attacking him are out of fellowship. He's the true King James Bible believer. That's, he's, that's the insinuation. And then it's up to you whether you obey it or not. You know, we have a lot of people that claim to be King James Bible believers, but are they King James Bible readers? Yeah, we are. See, the impression is we don't. We have never seen these verses before. See the condescension there, the arrogance. Many of them have not read the verses that I'm giving to you. Are you kidding me? Many of them. Who? Who are you talking to? Who haven't read these verses? What kind of pompous attitude would say that people haven't read these verses? This is the, what's weird with this guy. And then are the King James Bible obeyers? And how he's obeyed. See the impression is? He's, he doesn't sin. Only we sin. See, the people who go against him sin. Do they obey the scriptures? They claim to love the King James Bible and be King James only. But do they obey the King James Bible? Well, do you always obey the King James Bible? Breaker? Do you always obey the King James Bible? I don't think so. <laughs> then you'd be sinless. But notice the instance of insinuation. Oh, you're attacking me. You, it's because you haven't read the verses. Hey, yeah, let me show you these verses on faith works. You clearly never seen them before. Or you're disobeying the King James Bible. I never disobey the King James Bible. That's why I'm against interracial marriage, because the King James Bible teaches these four reasons to be against interracial marriage. That's what this clown is telling you. I call him a clown. Because he's very funny. <laughs> he's very funny. The condescension of this guy. They've never read the King. They've never seen these verses before. Or they're not obeying the King James Bible. Like he always obeys the King. No, we've never seen those verses before. Only Brian, only Robert Breaker, only Brian Dangler reads the King James Bible. Only Robert Breaker reads the King James Bible. So the only these guys, that's what their attitude is. Oh, you must not have read the King James Bible. See, Brian reads the King James Bible. Robert reads the King James Bible. We we oppose them. We haven't read those Bibles. We just don't read the King James Bible. We're not King James Bible readers. Or we're not obeying the King James Bible like Robert Breaker does. When he lies to you about interracial marriage, that's okay. And he's not going to repent of it. Puts dates up, date setting. Because sun, moon, stars, and he says, well, you know, this is spitballing. You know, I'm just going to have an intellectual game here. Oh, you know. And then he wants to put the, a faith work system. All the New Testament shows can't have a faith work system. He gets on that Lordship Salvation thing. He says, yeah, works are boasting. Oh, so you can, you can have a boasting system in the Old Testament. That's what you want to believe. But he's going to say, yeah, they claim to be King James Bible believers. Who do you think he's talking about, people? Who do you think he's talking about? 
But they haven't seen those verses. We've never seen those verses. And of course, if we have seen them, we're just not obeying them. Pompous. The guy is a pompous, condescending jackass. He really is. Fact is, people got a fellowship. Yeah, we see, you know. So does he. So when he gets out of fellowship, and basically it's because, you know, I'm not obeying the King James Bible. Like he always obeys the King James Bible. Stop being put this up. Amen. Thank you.